What are you drawing, Gray? Are you tracing? Yeah. What are you gonna draw? A snake. Oh, you're gonna draw a snake? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Show yeah. me how you do it. Good job! Let me see. Oh wow! Good job, Gray. Hello, you guys. I was about to say good morning, but it's actually the afternoon. So good afternoon. This morning, I decided to be ambitious, and I took both boys to this touch a truck event, which was just one city over from where we live. So it was only like 15 minute drive. If you've never heard of touch a truck, it's where basically like a bunch of um, organizations bring their trucks and cars and your kids can get in them and explore so they had a fire truck police car they had a dump truck an excavator a city sweeper just every kind of truck and car you could think of they had it and kids could just get in they were giving out free hats stickers um, they had free ice cream just uh, lots of fun things and it was free um, and it was outside um, and anybody could come and it was just for two hours. So I was like really debating it like do I really want to take this on? It would be so much easier if I had someone with me, but everyone like it's on a Friday So Anthony's working everyone else is working. Do I really want to take this on? I almost said no, but then a bunch of my mom friends were going and I was like if they can do it I can do it. So I decided to go and that was a mistake <laughs> We've never done touch a truck before and this is the first time and it was just a hot mess. I mean, it started off okay. Greg got in a fire truck. We got in a police car. They had a bounce house, so Greg got in that. They had a slide, so he did that. But it was just so hot. It was sunny. There were no clouds in the sky, so there was no shade. It was in like an uh, area where there was no shade. So yeah, it was really sunny, and it was really, really hot. It was... It, it, the sun just made it feel so so hot even though it's like middle of September it still feels like it's the middle of summer so the boys were hot and sweaty um, I had forgotten to bring sunscreen because I didn't think it was going to be that sunny because it's fall but needed some and we got ice cream and then Gray didn't like the ice cream and so we just ended up leaving it and then we did like the inflatable slide and Gray went out down at once but he wanted to go again and he didn't realize like you need to wait your turn and even when we wanted to like get in some of the vehicles like there were other kids in it so he had to wait his turn and he didn't want to wait his turn it was a hot mess and then the whole time I'm holding Porter ah. Porter's at that stage right now where he just ah. wants yes the fan he just wants to get out and like crawl around and explore he doesn't want me to hold him the whole time and so he just wanted to crawl around on the floor which it was hot because the sun was beating down so i couldn't do that he's not walking so that wasn't working so yeah that was really hard um porter was just screaming towards the end and just unhappy i think he's starting to get grayson's cold so he was unhappy grayson was crying so finally i was like okay we're just gonna leave my mom friends wanted to talk to me and hang out and i was like i just can't because my kids are a hot mess so definitely not ready for touch a truck um, I think if I had just Grayson and me maybe it would have been better but even Gray he's still young he's only three I just think he still was too young for that event so that was a fail but I did take videos while they were happy so I will input those here
it is Friday, like I said. We are getting ready for Porter's party this weekend. Gray has soccer tomorrow, so we're gonna do that. Anthony is leaving tomorrow. He's going to the Renaissance Festival. We have that here in Ohio, and so he's gonna dress up and go. And I'm gonna stay with the kids and get ready for Porter's party on Sunday. So lots of things going on here. Um, I'm sure I will vlog Porter's party, but we are just hanging out around here after nap time. Both boys took terrible naps. Gray didn't nap at all. And Porter took like an hour nap, so it's just a wonderful day. Hey guys, so sorry that this video is a little short. I was just so frazzled from um, taking the boys to that touch a truck event that I just was so over that day and didn't film anymore. So um, to end this vlog, I thought I would just give kind of an update on where we're at with like the whole house thing. So um, we are doing little projects around the house. Anthony and I kind of had a heart to heart and Anthony kind of came to me and he was like, I don't think I'm ready to start the housing search back up. He's like, I think I want to take a longer break and kind of just work on our house and get it to where like we want it to be to sell it um, instead of just selling it how it is because there are things that we've been wanting to do with it. We just ran out of time and then we put our house up for sale. Well, no, it hasn't been up for sale. We've been looking for houses to buy and then we were gonna put it up for sale. Also, there's like no houses on the market because the housing situation is still crazy. And Anthony's really worried that like the housing market is gonna crash and that there's gonna be like a recession again. I don't know. So anyway, we had a heart to heart and I was like, if you're really not wanting to sell our house or look for a new house, then let's not do it right now. Let's work on our house. I'm fine where we are. I like being close to my parents. I like being close to the downtown area that we're at. The one thing, well, there's a few things I don't like about this house, but the major thing I don't like about this house is the school district. Um, the schools are just really, really low and uh, we don't have money to put our kids in a private school because it's thousands of dollars. And so I do want to move eventually so that my kids can have a great public school education. Um, there used to be open enrollment in our school district and they recently just came out and saying that they're thinking of taking that away. So open enrollment, if you don't know what that is, you can put your kid into any school within the district. You don't have to go to the one that your house is assigned to, which that was what I was kind of banking on. But now it sounds like that might not be an option anymore. And so that's the main reason why I want to move. There's tons of other reasons too. This house is old. The laundry's in the basement. Um, there's no overhead lights upstairs. Like there's lots of reasons why I want to move, but that's the main one. So we have time because Grayson is only three. He won't start going to the public schools until he's five. So we'd have two years, but it is something like in the back of my mind. So that was where I was coming from. That was where Anthony was coming from. So we're just going to take a step back. We're going to not look for houses anymore. We are not going to um, put our house up for sale. We are just going to focus on the house that we have and we are going to do projects. So if you've been watching our vlogs, at the beginning of the summer, we Anthony went and patched up a hole in our um, side of the house because birds had made a hole in it. Then after that, um, we decided to power wash our house. My parents had a power washer, so we borrowed that. That was in another vlog. Anthony power washed our house. Then he decided to power wash our back patio and our back deck. Well, when he power washed our back deck, it actually stripped the paint. And so our back deck looked really, really bad. So um, we used that as an excuse to kind of fix up our deck, which we've been wanting to do for a while. Like a lot of the beams were... Um, falling apart and it was just looking bad and then the paint color was this ugly red color we didn't want that color so we fixed up the well I say we it was really Anthony he fixed up all the things that were wrong with the um, boards and the beams and now we are painting it so we picked this gray color Here's the deck. We have not finished it. As you can see, the lattice is still that ugly red color, but we are getting there. So that's what we're working on right now. Not gonna lie, painting this deck really makes me want to repaint all the walls in our house. I don't know if we'll actually do that, but when we first moved in, we decided to paint all the walls or a lot of the walls on the main floor like this tan color. It's actually called Beachy Keen. 
and I don't know why we did that. <laughs> so if I could repaint it again, and if I do decide to repaint it again, I would go with a gray color because that would just look much better and it would tie into the deck, but I don't know if we'll do that. But that's what we're doing right now. After that, there's some rotting wood on the outside of our house that we're going to try and tackle. And then there's lots of other things that we can be working on. So we're just going to take this time to work on our house and we'll see where that takes us. Obviously, eventually we are going to put our house back up for sale and find a new one. Um, we're just not so much in a rush anymore. So anyway, I just wanted to add that to this vlog. That's an update. That's why you don't see me like talking about moving anymore because we're kind of moving away from that sounds kind of wishy-washy but it's just the season that we're in right now so anyway sorry this vlog was not super exciting um make sure you subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye